guys, welcome to Instinct Test 2017. This is the first time that the Young Inventors Club of Museums College is hosting an exhibition for young inventors. There are many invited schools, some crazy inventions and a lot of talent here today. Stay tuned as we talk to a few people and learn more on this. My name is Ansha and you are with Pulse. Right now we are with Shamaka Jayasekara, the president of the Young Inventors Club at Mises College. Hi, how are you today? I'm fine. So tell me a little bit about what we're doing here today. Okay. So I, first of all, I would like to welcome you all to Instinctus 2017, the first ever Young Invent Interschool Young Inventors exhibition and competition organized by the Young Inventors Club of Mises College. And I would like to extend my thanks to our Madam Principal, Mrs. Nelum Senadira, Deputy Principals, and our in charge teachers and the committee, and also all the minor staff who helped us to make this event a success. And today we have more, more than 150 exhibits, and also there are about seven invited schools also participating in it. And this in, in, uh, the uh, competition has been going for two days that is, that is from yesterday to today and it will end today uh, with the award ceremony which is to be held today afternoon. That sounds amazing. What made you uh, initiate this competition? What what was the reason for initiating it? So from when I was small, I was a member of the Young Inventors Club and I've been participating in a lot of outside competitions so it was always mine and also our committee's dream and the teachers to uh, make this uh, give this opportunity to a lot of kids in our school also so we really wanted to organize something from the beginning something like this from the beginning Right now we're with Thivinia who is displaying her work at the exhibition today. Hi, how are you? Hi Aki, I'm fine. So tell me a little bit about what you're displaying today. This is my invention hybrid gas cooker. While we are cooking something, we can boil some extra water in here like you see the same heat energy. And the other one on that side? Uh, this is a revolving solar panel. In here like uh, this solar panel revolves with the sun. So it's really useful for our country. That sounds amazing. How did you come up with the ideas for these inventions? Um, uh, my mom used to drive, uh, you know, this umbola kadda, like uh, keeping it in this thing, uh, like in the gas cooker. So from the radiation, the heat spreads out in every direction. So uh, like that, I came up with the idea. Sounds amazing. Was this all your work, or did you have help from anyone else? Um, I got help from my cousin here. That sounds amazing. How do you feel about displaying your work at a competition like this for the first time? Uh, a little bit nervous, uh, but it's a good experience. It's great. I wish you all the very best, and it's amazing here today. Thank you. Right now, we're with Tanushi, one of the inventors at the exhibition today. Hi, how are you? Fine. Tell me what we have on display here today. Uh, this is a newspaper bag. It is. Uh, I have used the. Uh, I have made this. Uh, I have stitched and fold these newspapers, and this uh, bag can carry uh, 10 kgs and uh, 2 kgs and 8 kgs. Uh, that sounds amazing. What What made you come up with this idea, and how difficult was it to invent this? Uh, I got this idea from the garbage disaster. Um, uh, yeah. And stitching the bag, was it difficult? Yeah, it was difficult. Right. How do you feel about displaying at Invectus today? For the first time, is it? Uh, yeah, this was the first time. What do you feel about the competition and what does it feel like? Uh, it's like a scared and <laughs> it's fun. Right now we're with Shannon from Wesley College, which is one of the invited schools here today. Hi, how are you? I'm going good. Uh, Tell me a little bit about your invention. So this is a self-balancing car. So it helps out. Uh, I made this from a disc, and uh, there is a clock uh, wheels inside, and 
this wheel is rotating so it helps us to in future in a traffic jam so uh, in a traffic jam uh, we can use this vehicle as soon so it's going to many little space this help us to public transportation so it helps that's all that sounds amazing what what inspired you to build this kind of device um Actually, uh, I'm, uh, my uh, ambition to be a pilot. So, in uh, planes, the gyro sensor. So, this is the concept is gyroscope. The gyroscope is uh, very valuable for the planes. So, from there only, I use choose this uh, concept here. Sounds amazing. Was it difficult building the device? Yeah, sort of is. All right. How do you feel about displaying here at the exhibition today? Uh, it's very amazing to have. It's such a experience to have this. Uh, this is my second time. First time I came first place in our school uh, exhibition uh, last year. That was junior one. So this is my first one in senior category. So it's a good experience. Right now we are with Bosilu from Wesley College, who is another displayer at the e exhibition today. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I'm fine, thank you. So tell me what we're looking at here. What is the invention? Okay, this is a go kart. Actually, we uh, designed this. Actually, we uh, we modified the go kart. We first we took a plan of go kart, then we modified it to this car. Actually, uh, it was kind of difficult, but we enjoyed while uh, modifying it. Actually, right now we're with Kavinu from Royal College. Hi, how old are you? Uh, I am 12 years old. Awesome! What are you displaying here today? Uh, today I have this uh, multi-flavored burger filler. Uh, it is a concept that can be applied to an automated production chain with a variable flavor choice. So once, like this, once uh, you inject the four needles in, and then you can push these four syringes, which pushes the four flavors and fills the bun so you can enjoy your bun in four different flavors. Right now we are with a group of museums from the senior category. Hi girls, tell me your names. Uh, I'm Visindi. I'm Pavandi. And I'm Inuri. Alright, tell me what we're displaying here today. This is a self-watering plant. Um, it, yeah, we can, it's used for like home, uh, home used like decorating. Those, those small plants we use to decorate our houses. So like this is a growing pot. We don't need to like actually water it every day. So no, you can water it once a week. So uh, if we forget to water once a week, it can um, stay the stay with like for three days without watering. Even if we forget watering, it can last for three days. And so what happens here is that uh, uh, so in this lower compartment we have water uh, and through these clothes uh, the water travels up to the upper compartment. This effect is called the capillary effect uh, and uh, in the upper compartment we don't have, this is not soil, we are using coir here. Uh, the specialty in coir is that it can retain water more than soil, so uh, it retains the water and when the roots are dry uh, through osmosis, uh, it gives the, uh, the necessary water to the roots of the plant. 